science teacher at St. Monica Catholic Academy. This year we will have our seventh annual science Olympiad. Uh, we're a small school, K through eight, we have just over 100 kids. For the science Olympiad, we use the, um, the four through eighth graders. Some, some, I know some people who run the science, do a science Olympiad have their, um, have parent volunteers come in and help with the games. We, however, use our eighth grade students. So our eighth grade students um, play in the games and they actually run the games during the two days that we have the science Olympiad. Our schedule for the, we do a two, we do two days. Uh, we have a game in the morning and then a break where the seventh, or sorry, where the eighth graders will break down one game and set up the other. Um, in the meantime, the rest of the kids go and play. Um, we have a brain, or I'm sorry, a bridge, a bridge building um, activity or any other activity like that. We let them have some recess time. Um, and then they play another game before lunch. And then there are also two games um, in each afternoon. So we do end up playing about, um, about, hmm, how many games? Probably 16 or 18 games over the span of the two day period. The kids enjoy it, the kids love it. It's, some of them, I think it's their favorite time of the year. Um, they work together as a team. We do lots of team building activities actually throughout the entire process. We start with a team building week prior to the Science Olympiad Games. Um, last year I even had the, some of the older kids work with the little kids. We try to get them involved a little bit. Um, and, and the kids work together. It teaches them how to work together. It teaches them some competition. Um, the Sportsmanship Award is usually the biggest um, go-getter. That's what the kids look for the most. So we, uh, you know, we watch them. We make sure that when they're playing the games and they're competing and participating, they're doing, you know, they're doing that, you know, with with, it's with a sportsman's like attitude. So it's really a great opportunity for the kids, the eighth graders as leaders, and the younger kids also also to um, to play the games and and learn more about science. Hello. This is Brain Builders, and the objective is to use spatial reasoning to look at the side profile and build the structure on the card. You start out with teams of two to three players. Your team will pick an expert, intermediate, or beginner level card in any order. You can only look at the direction side of the card and build off that reference with the rectangular wind slabs. Once you start building, the timer begins. There will be two rounds, and you have to build as many structures as you can in the time limit you are given. If you and your teammates built your structure correctly, you will get points for what level you completed. For example, our scoring is beginner level, one point, intermediate level is two points, and expert level is five points. This game is called Hot Wheels. We take tracks, connectors, and clamps and use them to make a track. The objective of the game is to get your car to go the farthest with the most points. Each bag contains 28 track pieces, the connectors needed to use those track pieces, four loop pieces, and five cars to choose from. Each team gets a pole to start at. We only have two teams today, there would usually be four. Each team has a bag of materials that are equally distributed between the teams. The first step is to put the clamp on the top of our starting poles, then we'll start building the track. What we have to do is keep testing our track until it works, because sometimes we have a failed idea. 